Hello and welcome to what's new in Microsoft 365 and Teams for December. I'm Mark Thompson at Super Simple 365 and this is our last one of the year. Season's greetings from the UK. What have we got? So we've got our main updates from OneDrive Stream, Teams, Whiteboard. Some nice ones for Teams by the way. We'll look at what's going to happen in uh, the new year there. I've got a handful from around Microsoft 365. As always, there's a bit more over on the blog, so scroll down, go and check it out, and then hop over to the blog to see the latest. But for now, folks, OneDrive. Okay, so sharing experience. So this is already live. So when I just zoom in on here for you, this is what we're gonna get. So if we have a um, sensitiv sensitivity label on a file we're sharing, it shows up there and you can see what it is. Maybe you shouldn't be sharing it. Uh, but that's already live, um, so hopefully that's useful to you. Let us get a move on to stream. Just a quick one here. Uh, search video transcript. Look at the right hand side, look at a video. Uh, we've got the ability to search the transcript inside there. And from there, we can jump to that part of the video. Um, due mid-January to late February next year. On two teams it's gonna be fairly quick this one folks um it's december and folk over at uh microsoft uh probably working a short month like a lot of us are no not everyone is of course i know that but a lot of us are so it's gonna be a short one now what we've got here new teams meeting type virtual appointments this looks quite nice look at the screen here so we've got a new meeting type in the drop down let's just have a closer look so we've got a some quite interesting stuff in there actually that I hadn't noticed before. But let's focus on uh, virtual appointments. So we click on there and you just get that experience that you're used to from Teams. What's nice though is that the users get this appointment type uh, experience. So it's familiar for you, super easy for the users. Uh, not That's for all 365 plans. So I told you last month about um, the advanced uh, virtual appointments. So don't get those two con con confused. Uh, this is for everybody. Um, and then the uh, the advanced one brings uh, additional features. Due early to late February next year. Okay, support for co-organizers to manage breakout rooms. So to do this justice, I'm gonna ask you to hop over to the blog and read the, the, uh, the article on this because I've included the original post I made for co-organizers, and I also may uh, I've also linked to the original post I made for the uh, the breakout room managers. So even though you had both of those things, there was still a gap, wasn't there? Like the 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 the, uh, the co-organizer couldn't create the rooms. There's certain things they couldn't do. This is filling the gap. So. Capabilities include like the creating rooms, configuring, the sort of stuff that you'd want to, to do. There's a couple of little missions that you need to know about, but I think this is, is a real, really good step in the right direction for, for co-organizers to be able to, uh, to to do more with your rooms and uh, so, so your meeting and your breakout rooms. Teams out of date banner. So just a quick note on this. If you're somehow you haven't been updating Teams, you're gonna start getting a banner uh, that tells you it's out of date uh, and eventually it's gonna stop you using it. Okay, there's uh, lots of reasons why you should do this and if you don't know why you should be updating your software, uh, hop over to the blog because I explain that. Uh, just be aware that you, if you've somehow been avoiding updating Teams, you're gonna start getting a banner about it. Okay, let's get back on these. Meeting toolbar usability improvements. So let's slow down just a little bit. I think this is, is brilliant. I think it's, uh, it's a little bit overdue, but it's only overdue because the Teams team at Microsoft have been doing such good work. They've been bringing so many features over the last sort of 12 months or so that it's gotten to be a little bit busy in the uh, in this area. But look at this, look how nicely um, how nice this looks now. Let's just go a bit deeper, and you can see just the way the uh, all the settings are grouped. I think I think it's excellent. Uh, really looking forward to this. Uh, due mid January to late February. Now, I told you last month that the meeting experience 
Let's go back on so you can see me again. The meeting experience in the browser version was going to be changed so that it was uh, aligned with the uh, with the, 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 uh, the desktop version of Teams, but it got postponed and had quite a long uh, delay, and it? it was put down to back to March, maybe I think. And I wonder whether they've just basically just put it on hold because this update is coming out. So they may as well bring it out. They may as well leave that as it is and then get the, get the browser version up to the same level and bring them both at the same time. That's what I bet will happen, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so uh, mid-January to late February for that. I'm going to be quick on this one. Mention everyone in the chat. So you know that in a chat, you may be, I don't know, how do you use this? Let's say that you have a recurring group chat. You have a rec recurring um, activity where maybe at the start of the month, you kick something off and then it kind of goes quiet as the work is done. Then next month, you kick it off again. And you might have to curly out sign at mention one person, another person, and it's good to pull them back in. Whereas now, you could just at mention everyone and then everyone would be notified of that chat. So we can see they received the notification in the chat. Um, so they can turn that off if they want to. Um, due late January to uh, late February on all versions of Teams by the looks of it. What else do we have? Some quick updates here. Uh, delayed Microsoft Teams calendar pop out. So this will be nice, but if it gets delayed again, it's no big deal. Um, due uh, next month. Um, but if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. Um, magnifying PowerPoint slides, I think this is going to be quite nice. You can see here that this person has, they're presenting, but they've zoomed in for all of their audience. So that's delayed, but should be here next month. Uh, the ability to add people to a group chat, I think about why you do an app mention. I like this, let's say when that previous chat we we're talking about previously, and I want to add someone new, I don't need to go to the top, add them in. I can just do curly outside, Mark Thompson, um, decide how much I want to, how much of the content I want to share, uh, and then pull them in. I think that's great. So that should be in. So due by late December 2023. That's obviously wrong, isn't it? So that's uh, obviously due at uh, any time now, and not next year. I hope uh, delayed. No unread toggle. So I thought everyone had this, but I just there's a notification. Um, saying it's going to be pushed back a little bit for some people you can see here i really like it yeah the ability to look at the unread only it's just a really nice way to organize yourself for your uh, notifications um but some people apparently don't have it yet delayed again i thought everyone had this the expanded reactions instead of uh, being able to react with just the six options to uh, to um what someone said in teams you get something like 880 which uh, seems like a lot because it is, um, but people are quite enjoying using that. Anyway, for some people that is a little bit delayed. Now, before I move on to going around 365, I just wanna show you a little bit over on the blog. So this is what's coming out in Teams next year. So want to watch actionable missed call notification in activity. All that means is if, it's, uh, if you're notified of missing a call, Right from there, you can just call the person back. I love this. This might be start of the month. So have you been on a call where someone's had their hand up, you've talked to them, and then a little bit later you notice their hands up and you have to ask them, is that the same hand as before? Or did you just forget to put your hand down? Actually, once that person speaks, the hand automatically goes down. It seems so simple, right? But I just think that is going to be awesome. Just from the taking some of the clunkiness out of the out of your meetings, I can't wait. Due March, but I'll tell you more about that next time. Enhanced flag design for app engagement and discovery. Uh, no idea. Uh, what else do we have here? Expanded uh, view for profile card. So just learn a little bit more about somebody uh, when you when you uh, look at their profile. You can see a little bit more about the person. As you can see, these are just scant details. That's why I struggled on the previous one. I've, I've read that and I'm like, yeah, I can't quite picture how it's going to look. Um, suggested files and chats. So you can see more and more AI, AI in Teams. That looks uh, quite interesting. And we'll see how good a job it does at guessing or using AI to, to suggest what you might be after. Surface message actions by most recently used. Now, I'm guessing, because I'm an optimist, I'm guessing that, that when, I, when, I, when I'm um, looking at my options to how to respond to a message or what to do with it or to turn it into a task, 
The ones that I use most recently are the ones that I see first of all, rather than to click down into more. If it means that, this is awesome. If it doesn't mean that, then I don't really know what it means. Uh, what do we got here? Video filters in, oh, this looks fun. Uh, been able to do, uh, uh, basically augment your video stream with uh, a video effects. I wonder if you could put like a looping video on it or something interesting. Looking forward to this in February. I'm a big fan of OneNote. You can see that OneNote uh, um, that, that comes with, so Teams Meetings now comes with the collaborative OneNote canvas. So every Teams Meeting is going to have uh, a OneNote. Um, I, I like that. I'm looking for seeing how that looks. I recommend people set up OneNote for their meetings anyway. Uh, really big fan of it. So let's see how that pans out. But anyway, I think that just about covers that exciting stuff in Teams. Let's see what's going on around the rest of the Microsoft 365. So look at that. How festive is that? It's that time of year, right? So attribution support for sticky notes. Uh, in the whiteboard. All this basically means is, you see, I've got a sticky note here. I want to see who who created it and who last updated it. So, who touched it last. Um, so, a nice simple update, but I think is quite useful. And that is due. Duh, 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 when is that due? Um, anytime now, but uh, could be uh, into January. Modern commenting experience coming to the whiteboard. So whiteboards are getting a lot of love over the last few months, hasn't it? Uh, it's a really good collaborative place to work now. I know people who start their their every single day they have a Teams meeting uh, with their team, just like a quick check in, and they always use the whiteboard. They're just sticky notes, moving around, see who's doing what. And uh, it's, if you haven't checked the whiteboard out recently, folks, have a look. It's come a long way. Anyway. The ability to add comments on a whiteboard. So you think about your Word documents or your presentations, you add, add um, comments on there. This is the same, so this experience. So it seems like, uh, I think the last one I talked about was Visio, maybe, was it Visio? Or was it Stream? Visio or Stream? Maybe both of them, I'm not sure which order though. Um, but they, they've, they've had the modern um, experience recently and now it is coming to the whiteboard. Let's see when it's coming. Uh, late January to early February, so that's something to look forward to. Okay, 365, uh, introducing the activity feed. So if we could look here, on the left-hand side, you can see that we uh, have this item here, this, uh, this this icon on the left, my feed, uh, and then you can see that it has uh, content um, from around Microsoft 365, and it just, what have we got here? So we've got um, the fact that someone's updated a file, I've got a meeting coming up, um, I said something, it looks like I said I was going to do something, so I was to go and do it. Um, I'm sending, who's sending automatic replies, um, who should I connect with up here? So I think that's just, you know, the other way Microsoft 365 more and more has got your back. It just kind of reminds you to do stuff and it just looks out for you a little bit. This is like, I think, the next uh, stage of that. And it is due uh, mid February to early March. And as always, let's just focus on here. As you'd expect, um, you can only see what you're meant to be able to see. I still hear people ask about this uh, and that they, they people worry about what people are going to be able to see. And if you're not having the rights to see it, a new a new window to content isn't going to magically give you those rights. So of course, if you're not meant to see it, you're not going to see it. Loop components in a word for the web targeted release. So uh, most of us aren't on targeted targeted release. We're not we don't, we don't see that stuff early, the new stuff early. But I've included it because it tells you that it's genuinely coming. Okay, so as a result of this. Generally speaking, it goes to the next stage and we all get it. Occasionally, they draw back a little bit because they, they, they have some lessons that they learn from uh, from this stage. But those loop components are coming to Word for the web. Uh, and look out for loop in the whiteboard as well, folks. Um, uh, and hopefully you've already got it in, in Outlook and Teams. Uh, due for release at any time now, but might be as late as early February next year. Okay, okay. Wow, look at that. We're done already. As always, folks, you can get this content uh, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, under podcast, the blog, or the newsletter. A couple of things to call out there. Uh, YouTube, uh, hop over there and subscribe. It makes such a difference when people subscribe. Put a comment on. I saw a couple of comments uh, on the last video. Let me just pull those across for you. 
Okay, where is it? Oh, there you go. So we're just checking in on me, making sure that I'm not ill anymore. Someone just thanking me for the video. You know what? Those are really appreciated. So if you get a second, please comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you want to make sure you get uh, uh, notified of this, uh, subscribe on Twitter or to the newsletter over on the blog. But for now, folks, we are done. Whatever you are doing at the end of December, I hope you have a nice end to this calendar year and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for watching over the last 12 months.